Well, hello guys, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Big Fat Psychic channel. I'm so pleased to be reading again for you today. Okay, so we're going to use the uh, Golden Girls uh, Tarot uh, cards uh, to ask about Prince Charles. We're just going to go straight in. I know you guys have been waiting uh, long and long enough. Okay then, so, you know, how's Ch Prince Charles feeling at the moment? That's it. That's it. You know, uh, I is sick of uh, you know talking about the divorce and all like this and Diana with a blonde hair. You know it. You know the lock's been twisted. Obviously, it's very upsetting uh, for him. Just seeing if, yeah. For some reason, I feel like I've lost my cards. I can't bloody see in this light. Anyway, anyway, so yeah, uh, I'll just have to trust it. So you've got the Eight of Cups here. Um, you know, it's all about the divorce. It's painful. Uh, you know, he's worried about uh, Camilla uh, as well. I mean, you know, the the fact that Diana was going to head off to uh, live in California for some reason. I don't know if that's been mentioned. Uh, certainly a lot has. Uh, he's glad his mum ain't here to see it. He's glad, you know, he's glad his mum isn't here to see it. Okay, uh, she's got her head uh, turned there. We know there's definitely only half a, a story. Uh, half. I think Charles is absolutely confused. You know. Uh, what what this is all uh, about so that's how he feels that's not what he feels to harry he feels it because of harry but uh that's not how he feels about harry so you know his sense in general is like he blames himself about the separation he blames himself uh, uh, about the divorce do you know what right you would be amazed at how many men uh hang on so guilt even when they they've moved on you know it's always uh like a a guilty shame kind of thing you know um so it haunts you it haunts you you can still appear a little you know all this is just bringing up stuff that he you know he feels truly truly uh you know bad uh, about you can't control who you love you know uh, look, we're, we're pre-programmed that way, so um, there's no way there's no way that marriage would have uh, survived. Okay, uh, like Diana's emotions was up and down, and you know the the other d displays of love that she wanted and the gratitude and everything. Um, you know, I don't know. It just it wasn't a good match from the start. And I'm afraid the universe, right, even if you go against it uh, and try and do all these things, it just knocks you uh, back off, you know. When things are right, they work, you know. Uh, it's easy. The process is easy. When things aren't going to work, then you can find it difficult, you know. One person always lacking in a relationship, you know. I feel equal with my husband, but I do remember having a first love. I was crazy about him. I really was. I was I was borderline obsessed, I think. But do you know what? I never let it go. Uh, I never let it go to the extent where I was. my life changed all of a sudden. So, you know, it, we weren't going to make it as adults because I didn't feel good enough, you know. I, I always... So it's like when one person, uh, you know, obviously loves you, uh, a, a lot more I couldn't be that person you know that would doubt con constantly doubting myself just feeling you know that he was far uh, uh, above me too good for me that I wasn't good enough I wasn't good looking enough you know all, all those kind of uh, thoughts I did have an opportunity to meet him a few years later um, and he wanted to catch up so you know I arranged to meet him at a certain time and I just got up in the morning and I felt the past is the past and it was a real nice childhood memory uh, that I didn't want to spoil and bring into the adult world because I still felt the same that he was above me uh, and I didn't 
you know i want good enough and i think as well you know that is true with a lot of people okay i picked the one who loves me too much <laughs> i did can't be that other one but anyway yeah uh so no i'm only joking i love him to bits so so yeah i mean all these feelings you know are, are all being jogged up now uh thanks to, to harry what's his in you know what's he gonna do with it come on charles what are you gonna do uh, to sort this there'll be no reconciliation he will not be reaching out he will not be making a, a comment The, there is a problem where uh, he, he's gone on about the army and giving uh, details. And, do you know, I mean, I'll go into that in a, another reading, but, you know, very uh, gung-ho, so to speak, about it, wasn't he? You know, I noticed there was a lack of empathy when he was saying that. I've worked with, uh, you know, uh, soldiers who have come out of the army and they're broken. They're absolutely broken post-traumatic stress. The benefit system doesn't help them. It's not there to support them. The child support agency, well, that's another thing. They just go to the boss and say, right, take this out and they have to it's disgusting uh you know they get penalized what about all the uh, disabilities and the injuries and everything else look these men are broken when they come out you know they're, they're trained to be killing machines and then there's no sort of like uh integration back into society uh you know and rehabilitation and and support you know support for them oh my god so, you know, for Harry to be like that, I think will anger uh, a, a lot of people. Did he say it, you know, to get security or is he that, that just stupid? Because I can tell you now as well, you know, anybody uh, who said he served with uh, Harry is also at risk, you know. Uh, it, it's just disgusting and outrageous. I think that is like one of the focuses, uh, you know, with, with his uh, armies. Armies, navies, you know, uh, you know, this is posing a, a, a national, an international uh, security breach, and especially for Harry, you know, I'll tell you what, Harry, stop flying the planes and getting your helicopter, you know, oh my God, uh, Jesus, oh dear, it's a lot, isn't it? it's, a, it's a lot. Will will he be taking uh, any action? he doesn't intend to do anything right now he's not doing anything right now why is harry uh, you know what's stopping charles uh from just stripping him totally you know and getting rid of him he does have a plan he does have a plan. Oh, that's good. Uh, that's good. Glad to see uh, we got palm trees back uh, uh, as well. Okay, because that was a queen not being here to see it. Thank God. Um, and then, you know, uh, I do uh, feel like there is a, a plan. I see a woman, you know, sat down ever so casually, uh, dressed up, but she's an older woman. I wonder if this could be our Anne. Okay, who has uh, like a plan because the shoes are different. They're like for an older lady. Uh, certainly not that I've seen on Megan. You know, slingbacks uh, across. This isn't Megan, okay, but there is a, a like a, a, sh a glass of champagne uh, on there. So there is a plan. And it it's to do with a, a woman, okay, a, a woman with like ready hair. Um, And, and a smile, a, a smile, I'm getting a, a, a smile. Uh, I, I'm getting like Harry will lose uh, his security anyway, you know. I'm getting uh, that because I'm seeing uh, the four of pentacles, okay, just uh, all together in a square. Uh, so that tells me four of pentacles, which always means to me, uh, you know, Harry, money in the bank, but Harry, security. You've got five underneath, which are separate from the four. So that's like a, a loss of security. So somebody is smiling 
uh, about that. Uh, do the royal family believe that, you know, uh, the Harry has done all this to, you know, or done talks about Taliban to get his security? Well, isn't that funny? Because, you know, you've got a search like that, a, a, a lady uh, out with a torch. I think, uh, you know, Camilla's more in danger uh, than anybody else at this point in time. This woman is going out and uh, looking, you know, she's she's looking for something. Keeping me up at night, keeping me up at uh, night. So the hermit, the hermit. Withdraw, 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 withdraw from the army, withdraw from the Taliban. Withdraw, withdraw, withdraw. That's all I can get, withdraw. I don't think, uh, you know... Despite, uh, you know, how are you just going to have to 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 like it and lump it, mate? Harry, you'll have to go live in, uh, you know, Botswana or wherever it, it was uh, that, you know, you felt safe uh, with, uh, you, you know, those people who brought you up, you know, instead of your parents. I mean, oh, Jesus. Uh, withdraw that's what I get uh, voluntary and isolation so you know Harry's chosen to do this Harry you know Harry you should have shut your mouth because now anywhere Harry goes like the coronation that could be a big risk okay a massive uh, risk I mean the royal family are already receiving death threats anyway but what you don't need is the Taliban on your tail uh, so you know that might be a good uh, opportunity to to say well no you can't come because you know it's, it's uns it would be unsafe for you to travel you know these are always what I say unintended consequences that he could never have foreseen or uh, imagined and I mean do you know what, right? It, it's pretty simple, okay? You go on a, like a big dashboard and you start off with that and you say, right, the consequences and then the consequences of that and the consequences. And you should do it about, you know, uh, 10 to 12, 15 times uh, uh, in advance, you know, uh, of where each little uh, immediate consequence is can have a knock-on uh, effect. I can do it in my brain uh, because I'm used to it. You know, it's called foresight. Uh, which he hasn't got. All these advisors, all these advisors, oh dear. You know, what a waste of bloody money. Why employ somebody if you're just going to overrule them uh, in the first place? I mean, having a lot of staff to meet is just too much uh, hard work. It really is. So you've got the uh, Eight of Cups. Uh, the ace, uh, sorry, the eight of cups, uh, upright, ace of cups reversed, uh, nine of pentacles, you know, uh, upright, and the hermit upright. So we've got a nan, nan here, uh, a nan, nan. Okay, um, Charles. What action uh, are you go are you planning to take regarding Harry? He's going to expose them for the liars, the tricksters, uh, uh, and everything else uh, that they are. So they are working behind the scenes on something. I told you, you know. I mean, as well though, uh, the the magician. Uh, reverse to me means they haven't got that much at their disposal. But we could be seeing um, stories, information regarding deceitful practices. Again, not actually coming from the royals, but maybe influenced uh, people around Meghan or, you know, from, from other places that will come out with uh, stuff. There is a lot in the press that, you know, some reporters uh, just won't go near or are not allowed to. But there's other stuff they've sat on. 
that they know that can be leaked. Uh, you know, how, how is, is Charles' relationship with William at the moment? Very strong, very, very uh, strong, okay, sir. So, uh, again, I'm getting all about, uh, you know, uh, Elizabeth here. So something she's obviously said uh, has give, given him uh, strength, okay, sir. So, uh, Charles now sees that, you know, William was exactly uh, right. Uh, it, you know, he had it from the start, you know, a lot of people did, uh, a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers, you know, been working on this for five, six years, um, you know, they knew, but it just takes a while, doesn't it? I mean, it's a long time, really, but it takes a while for people to uh, cotton on and cotton on, they are doing. I've got a lot, a lot of growth here. Uh, a, a lot of uh, growth so i am seeing like uh, even in turbulent times i'm i'm seeing growth <clears throat> so the family expanding or the family uh you know do it out and about doing their, their bits uh you know uh, the the family trying to work behind uh, the the doors uh, to to resolve this so i'm glad to see that you know king charles and william are on the same page literally <gasps> oh dear i didn't mean to, to uh, say that but yeah <laughs> okay um so you know because i'm stuck out because i think even in uh, another reading like they don't seem to be doing much uh, or say much that bullying thing doesn't seem to be coming out by them whereas you know the other day i was absolutely to myself thinking yeah it is that this is what they need to do you see that's what they need to do you know uh destroy uh megan and harry's credibility destroy it that bullying thing would destroy it that's what hangs in their balance what does william want for uh the bullying Accusate, you know. Yeah, no, 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 it's too bad. Uh, right. Yeah, what's uh, William's thoughts on, uh, you know, the, the bullying report and using it against Meghan and Harry? That's a good, better way. The world, it's a success. I hope William's done it, okay? I hope William's done it and it won't King Charles. <laughs> or maybe that's a great news, you know, that will ruin eight of the uh, ones we had. Great news for William, even though the story like that broke uh, the next day. <laughs> Just get there in time, don't I? <laughs> but, you know, uh, yeah, so that was a great news and I said he's going to ruin them, okay? And at first I thought, oh, is he responsible for the, the legal of the book is he bollocks is he bollocks okay we know who's responsible for that another reading coming up but you know yeah this is uh it's out it's going out it's going out worldwide worldwide will william have a hand in the bullying uh report I don't know why the Queen said to release it after I'm dead, maybe. I, I, I kind of see that. You know, she's passed over a lot. She looks beautiful, by the way. Uh, she She's not got... Can you see her? She really does look uh, like uh, uh, Lizzie. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Yeah. She really does. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I hope you didn't get a, a look at my nose then. <laughs> I think I've cleaned it. Right, anyway, so yeah, I, I just see, uh, 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 you see, yeah, it is because I keep thinking of Helen Mirren uh, uh, as well. Helen uh, Mirren. I think she played the Queen uh, as well. So yeah, I think uh, when she leaves this earth, you can do what you like with it.
how long uh, before William what will be you know how will uh, William feel uh, when uh, this story is broken because it is a big story how will he feel <laughs> No, what does he hope to achieve? That's it. Uh, what does he hope to achieve with, with this uh, bullying report regarding uh, Meghan and Harry? <laughs> that they're not welcome, that they won't be here, you know, uh, that they can put paid to uh, any books, you know, all this writing and stuff uh, about not seeing uh, their children. Um, I'm getting a fish. So you've got the page of cups reversed. Let me have a look at this. I can still see them sho shoes, okay? I can still see them shoes. No, um, no, this is a full shoe. Right, so this is a different person. Do you know what? In all these, you know, they're all different shoes. Stilettos, uh, slingbacks, slippers. Granny shoes, you know, <laughs> them low heel ones, uh, no feet there, uh, and then uh, open toe heels as well. So, how many women is that? One, two, three, four, five, five, because they're the five with the shoes. I know there's somebody here uh, and here, but they don't count. Five, five women, five. Five women, okay, I counted five women. All different ages, all different backgrounds. What does he hurt to achieve? Uh, for him to never probably see him again, you know, uh, to, that's it. Uh, that they don't come uh, to the coronation. That they'll never get the christening. Well, you know, after the bullying, I guess there, there is. I was thinking uh, of along the uh, lines of uh, whether Megan got pregnant or not, you know, my thoughts. Um, but, you know, there could be uh, stories about that, about not being... Not been, not been. So there was a question I was going to ask and it slipped my mind. But anyway, I'll leave it for the next one then. So, you know, uh, it does look like uh, Charles isn't doing much. But we've got a woman behind the, the scenes here helping. Uh, we've got the Queen's blessing as well. Uh, so when she left the earth, something can be done. Finally, you know, King Charles and uh, Big Willie have, uh, you know, I mean, honestly, right, Harry, you're so childish. Uh, like, we'll take the piss, uh, you know, out of a, a Big Willie name, honest to God, you, you know, uh, trying to demean him, insult him. I mean, I don't know, call Charles Charlie Boy, you know, Charlie Boy. Uh, but, you know, Horrid Henry. Uh, you know, these are, are, are names, but, uh, yeah, he's tried uh, to de derogatise uh, Prince William with that. Not that he's bothered. When can we expect these revelations and interview? Is, oh my God, is Big Willie going to give an interview? Oh, he is. Oh, oh, he is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, he is. He's going to talk about, uh, you know, the Queen and Philip uh, legacy, so, you know.
It's no wonder he, he thought great news. I'm going to... I told you he'd been busy. I told you he'd been busy, didn't I? Oh, my God. I think he's uh, definitely... He's definitely going to give an interview. Uh, and, it, you know, he'll it, talk about all sorts. Not not just about uh, Harry. He'll be so, kind of uh, dressed up as, you know, uh, commemorating the uh, Queen and uh, Philip's anniversary, maybe, you know, uh, or uh, something like that. And then it's like, well we'll be left suspecting whether he'll answer any questions on Harry. Could he be using uh, Tom Bradby, okay? Because Tom Bradby, you know, absolutely believes William, okay? Tom Bradby, uh, you know, what does uh, William... What's William's relationship with Tom? Because I know he kicked him off, but maybe Tom has, uh, you know, uh, has got in touch with William. No, they're not friends, uh, you know, <laughs> William's not having anything uh, to do with him uh, at all, it's like they're, they're past. Now, I think they will agree to, uh, you know, do something or, or, or talk in the future, uh, but right now, uh, William has not forgiven him about something with uh, the, the Queen and Philip and, and Charles and uh, Camilla, you know, Charles and Camilla as well. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hope that's so true. I hope so. Okay. Anyway, guys, uh, that was exciting towards the end. <gasps> Love it. Bye now. Bye-bye.